Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss IEEE 7.5.4 single precision standard. So this is standard is actually used to store real numbers. So in single precision we are having 32 bits to store our real number. And let's say for this one I am taking this example 12.2. Five one three. Okay, so in this thirty-two bit, let me. So the first bit, this bit is actually reserved for sign. So if the number is positive, we will put here zero. In case of negative, we will put one in this space. Now next. 8 bits let's say these are the 8 bits these bits are used to store exponent now these are total 8 bits so in 8 bits uh, we know the total number of values can be stored is 256 how we got this value we got this value by using this formula so the range we can say that this is the range 0 to 255 so the exponent can be negative and it can be positive so both positive and negative both value we need to store here so let me write here some So these are the value we can store in these 8 bits but how we are going to store a negative exponent so the thing is that if we um, take a signed range like uh, what we want to do we want to store num exponent in this form okay but the thing is that in these 8 bits all we can store this format so that's why as you can see in this format 127 will represent 0 okay 128 will represent 1 so whatever exponent we will get in our process we will add a bias of 127 Okay, so this bias will be added in every exponent. Okay, and the next 23 bits will be used for mantis apart. So now what we are going to do, we are going to calculate binary according to IEEE 754 standard for this number 12.51. Three. So first of all, let's con uh, convert this number into binary. So what is the binary for twelve? So the binary for twelve is one one zero zero. So this is the binary for twelve. Now we need to calculate, convert this number as well. So in order to convert this number, we will need to do this process. We will multiply this number with two. What we'll get six two one zero. So we will take this one out, we will write here. So the remaining part 0 0.026 multiply it 2 0 0.052. So before zero before point there is nothing, so we will consider zero, we will write zero here. Again we will multiply four. Again, there is nothing, so we will consider zero. We will write here zero point one zero four. Again, zero. So the thing is that 
how long we are going to repeat this process so it depend on how many number of bits we are having in memory to store this mantissa part sorry mantissa we are going to see next so let's say for time being we are considering only these four bits so the binary of this one we can write one zero 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 so the we have so the first one we will convert this number into binary and in this number if you can see the number is positive so the sign bit what will be the sign bit sign bit will be zero now next thing is that we want to find out exponent what will be the exponent so in order to find exponent first we have we need to convert this number into binary which we have already done next thing we need to normalize this number uh, what is the meaning of normalization the meaning of normalization is that we need to shift this point in such a way that before this point there will be one non zero digit so in order to normalize this number we need to put this point here because before this point we need only one non zero digit so if we will shift this one here we can write this number in this way because if you remember in decimal if we are having something 50 0 50 point 10 we can write this number like 5.02 10 power 1 because in decimal the base for that decimal number system is 10 so here the base for binary number system is 2 that's why for shifting a point in left side at 3 position like we need to write in this manner okay so normalization is done so this is the exponent and we have seen a bias of 127 will be added into exponent so the final exponent will be 130 so in this part we will write binary format of 130 now after this point this part will be taken as mantissa so we have seen in single precision for mantissa we are having 23 bits and uh, these bits you can see on these are only 7 bits so that's why this process will be keep on repeating until this 23 bits get filled so this is the way to convert a decimal number into binary according to IEEE 754 standard. Thank you very much for watching.